everybody welcome to my little um turkey treat container with doodle bug designs today i am using several different elements from doodle bug design and also I'll try not to crinkle this too loud these portion cups these are um exactly what size they are it doesn't say on here they're just little portion cups that come with the lids kind of like what you get when you go to a restaurant and maybe get a little cup of gravy or dressing or something like that um, it's about the size of a jello cup if you get the little disposable little ready jello cups it's about that size and they come with the lids about like that so that's about what size they are okay i got these again i got these at the dollar general i believe they were like a dollar for a pack of 13 of them so if you want to make these up for your thanksgiving table or to give um for little class treats or something like that they're really easy you can modify this according to whatever dies or punches or whatever you may have on hand so here is a look at what what the finished piece looks like there okay so to get started again I am using the newest collection from Doodlebug um, a couple of the newest ones I'm using a little bit of the pumpkin spice I'm using that and then I'm using the new buffalo check in gingham I'm using a little bit of the six by six rainbow petite print pad this is the buffalo check wood grain paper and then also the 12 by 12 paper of the same i use the bonbon the brown for the body of the, the turkey okay so what i did first um to get started is i took a the piece of the brown and i cut it down of course this is dependent on how many of these you're wanting to make but I wanted, to, wanted it to be able to go through my die cutting machine, so I cut it six inches wide. I cut a sheet of white cardstock six inches wide as well, and then um, adhered, just used an adhesive to adhere the brown paper to the cardstock. And I always use the adhesive sheets from Scrapbook Adhesives. This is what I use. If you don't have anything like that, you can use, if you have a Zyron um, adhesive machine, you can use that to apply adhesive or just use taper glue. Okay, so then after that has dried, if you use glue, then you will want to grab your dies. I have used the Doodle Cuts Nesting Scallops. I used the leaf for the wing. And then use this middle probably the next to the largest um, scallop shape for the body. So if you're not familiar with the dies, especially the nesting dies and how those work, um, when you die cut the piece, it cuts both of these out. So you will have this, the scallop portion, cut away from the middle um, circle part. You know, if you wanted to do something and leave those together, you would just, you know, just put them back together like that and let them nest inside, let the circle nest inside of that. But I wanted this to be the part of the body. So let me grab a cup and just show y'all how this fits on here. So what I did then is just place this on here as far down as it would go. Okay, and that just sits just really nice and snugly on there. So just as far as it will go, you don't tear it or anything like that. And then all you will do is just apply a little bit of your liquid glue around the inside edge of that circle. Okay, so once that is on there, and I really like this glue because it dries clear, it dries really good and strong, and it has that small applicator tip on there so you can really just get that where you wanna get it. Okay, so it just takes a little bit so I'm just going to come back and just seat that down onto the cup. So it will look like that. And let that dry. 
If you have any excess, this is when I just take like a baby wipe or something like that and wipe that off. Okay. So you can see I've used the glue there and that's not coming off. So it does hold really well. Okay, that's barely art. It's barely dot art is where you can find that. Love this glue. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. So next, after that is on there, I want to attach the body over the top of the cup, okay? Now, if you wanted to do this opposite and work from this end after you have the lid on, you could definitely do that. But I just wanted the end where you could still get to the contents inside and still have the integrity of the, of the little design on the cup. So, this is a little bit too big to me. So, what I did next is I just took some some of my round dies that I have. If I can find my little with them. I just took some nesting dies. Now, if you don't have nesting dies, you could always use a punch or just freehand cut that if you need to. So, I used a one and three quarters inch circle die, and I'm just going to take the original die cut piece and run it through my die cut machine. And you can see I have that die cut. You can just discard that if you, unless you want to keep that for something else. And then once again, and I have used my hot glue to attach the circle to the plastic cup. Okay, so next what we're going to move on to is the feet. Now for the feet, you will notice, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but this little guy stands up. He stands up on a table. He'll stand up on a plate in the middle of a plate setting or something like that. So, it's very important this next part. I kind of made an easel out of a little piece of paper. And then just put him at the bottom there to make the little feet. Okay? So, what I did is I used another one of the dies. I really like the tag dies. These are the mini tags. And I used the small square tag at the bottom. Die cut that, and then all you will want to do is just cut that tab part off of there. Fold it in half. And then just glue it to the bottom. And just make sure, too, when you glue it, that you kind of get centered where the little scallops are. Okay, so again, I've just used a little bit of my Barely Art glue. And I'm just going to place that under the under the scallop for the feet. Ready to stand them up. Okay, then the next thing I did was add the head. So I took that leftover piece of strip. Now I cut I cut five. Of the bodies out of this paper so just however you know if you're needing more then just prepare more of that um, but I did use another piece that has the white paper backing on it just to make it a little bit more sturdy so for this part I just used another one of my circle dies that is one and a half inches wide and then all I'm going to do is attach him to the top so then you will notice the beak, and for the beak is what I use, and this is, you know, there's so many different things that you could even consider using for this, but I took one of the strips from the Paper Frills packs, I kind of like this, this one has yellow and the orange in there, and I took the scalloped piece. And then all I did, so I just took one little section of that, and just round it around. It looks better cut. Right handed, so let me cut this way. And then you just want to make that into a point. And again, if you just have a heart, if you wanted to do a heart and cut that in half, that would also make a good beak. So I'm going to lay that down for just a second. And I have already die cut. I don't remember what these are called. I call them little gooselers, but I know that's not the correct word. But the part of his goozle guzzle, I'm not sure what that is. I used this die here again from the mini tag dies. I used this die, this heart, 
and die cut that from the red gingham and buffalo check paper and then I'm gonna attach that first so just kind of put it on there like that and then you'll want to take the beak and what I did I like to use my hot glue when I'm wanting to build up but not use like a hot you know like a, a foam dot or adhesive um, glue dot or anything like that so what I do is especially with small kind of unusual shapes such as this I just add a little bit of glue and kind of build it up like that just let, kind of build it up a little bit with your hot glue let it sit for just a few seconds um, kind of take some of the heat off of it so when you attach it it doesn't smush all the way down so then after I've done that then I'm just gonna come back and add it right to the top of the goozle okay so that's how the beak looks okay and then for the eyes of course you can just use you know if you wanted to draw them with a pen you could definitely do that but I just grabbed some of my black sprinkles the beetle black assortment and then just use the smaller ones on there so I've kind of made them a little bit more far apart you can add a little bit of chalk detail for the cheeks if you wanted to do that too so there is that part of that so we're getting closer you'll see how quickly this goes together when you have everything already die cut okay then like I said next I used this cute little print from the pumpkin spice paper pad so this came from that has all the really pretty colors in there so I wanted a little bit more color so I decided to throw that in there and then this is just as easy as just kind of folding them in half they are scored and have the um, little stitch marks in there so it just takes just a little bit of glue up in the corner and then I just add kind of add them to the sides like that okay and then for the bow in the center of course I just went through all of the all the different dies I had from Doodlebug. so if you happen to have this set this is the Hoppy Easter from 2019 so from last Easter almost two years and I used just that die there so it's that bow. If you want to stamp the bow and then die cut it out, you can. But I just wanted a clean bow. So like I said, I had that die cut already. So I'll just use a couple of bone squares on the back. Just add it to the center. And if you want them all to be different, of course, you just use different colored paper for your bows. And then for the middle of the bow, I use the Fall Assortment Mini Jewels. And just used a coordinating color. I think I will change this one up just to make it look a little bit different. So just use kind of that brown color for that. And you see we're almost through already. The last part of this was I used, once again, I used the mini tags. I used the round tag. And then I used the very light yellow from that gingham and buffalo check. The buffalo check and the wood grain print um, paper pad from that. And then I just decorated each one a little bit different all of my tags are just a little bit different in the aspect that I used all the different little sprinkles along with the for you sentiment that I stamped on there and that comes from the forest friends stamp set this is new this came out with pumpkin spice you see how cute all of those are so I just used this stamp there and then just stamped it onto the tag. I've used some chunky twine. I believe this is marmalade. 
I love Chunky Twine. It's my favorite. I just like it because it really stands up really good too. It's very substantial. You just make a small loop. Just give it a knot. And then we'll use a single large foam dot. On the top, and then we're just going to attach it to his wing, just right there to the edge. Kind of makes him look like he's holding it a little bit. So there are two of those. Again, you could fill these up with candies. If you wanted to put candies in there. If you want to give it to your crafty friends. You could put all kinds of little um, embellishments inside. Which you'll notice that at the end he will stand up. And there he is standing up, but that is the finished little guy there. Thank y'all for joining.